Well, the pandemic has changed many aspects of life, including the way democracy works as well. And with the, st with the Missouri State primary coming up this coming Tuesday, polling places are sure to look a lot different as well. Our Jillian Andrews has that report. Green County Clerk Shane Scholler says safety in voting has become a big priority. If they're voting in person, we're doing everything we can to make it safe for them. Outside the city of Springfield, masks are not required, so more staff is needed to keep polling locations safe. We're going to have two people who are going to be both cleaning and communicating came with voters, making sure they're staying socially distanced. However, poll workers are now in short supply. The number one challenge facing election officials right now is recruiting enough poll workers to staff all of the polling sites that are going to be necessary this fall. In the past, most poll workers have been over the age of 60, and the symptoms of COVID-19 can be much more severe for people that age or older. There are efforts in every state to try to um, expand recruitment to um, younger people, to people who might otherwise not have worked at the polls. Those most at risk can opt to cast their ballot this fall through the mail. Just make sure it's postmarked by October 20th. Becker says the chances of fraud with absentee ballots is low. It occurs extremely rarely. The amount of voter fraud isn't zero, but it's very, very close to zero. Voters can expect to see increased safety measures starting with the statewide primary on Tuesday. Jillian Andrews, Ozarks First.